We're starting on the floor. Take a long stretch. Think of it, banana stretch. Reaching. One of the stretches, arch your back if you want. Just get really long. Take it to one side. That's your chance. Stretch down the side of your body. Bring it off to the other side. There's your stretch on the other side. If you need to spend a little more time on one side or the other, go for it. Now the knees are going to come into your chest, giving yourself a hug, circles on your low back in one direction, circles in the other direction. Hug one knee into your chest, extend the other one out. There is your long opening for your hip. Bring that knee in, switch sides. Here comes the other side. Both your knees come in one more time. Little circles. Feet go down to the mat. Open them up about mat width. Take some windshield wipers, little movement through your hips. And then if you want, you can use this to open up the front of your leg a little, your thigh, your quadricep, taking it side to side. Bring it to the center here. Now set your feet up underneath your knees. We're gonna take our hands on your hips, and we're gonna open both the knees to the side and then bring them back towards the ceiling. Now this is beginning to use the core engagement and you're doing the best you can to stay centered. So now we're gonna do that zip of the core and we open the knees to the side. You bring them back in. Now we wanna make sure we keep both of our glutes on the mat. Take one more here. Here's the change. Just the front leg opens up. So now you're gonna do just the one leg and bring it up. The same idea, stay centered. So I'm keeping my hands on my hip bones to make sure my pelvis stays level as I open and close. And that means you have to start using your core Take the back leg only. Front leg stay still, back leg will drop, and bring it in. And again, you might have to work to keep both the glutes even on the mat as you open and lift. So think exhale, really zip up the core. Here's your last one. Take your arms by your side, palms down, and we're going to take the arms up and overhead. So now you're going to take the opening for your shoulders, moving through your spine, opening through your chest. We take our arms up and over and bring it back. So we're taking them up, reach overhead, and then return them back down. We'll do one more. Here comes your next one. And then we'll add our hip lift. Add a bridge as your arms go over. There's the lift of your hips. And you bring it back down. Here's the lift of the hips. Fingers go over. Bring it back down. There's your four. Here's three. Here's two, one more time. Hips stay down, bring your arms to goal post. So we're gonna have our fingertips towards the ceiling. They're gonna be out to the side, think goal post arms, and then you drop the back of the hands to the floor and you bring them back up. I'm, I'm warming up your chest, your shoulders right here. There comes the drop of your palms down. And then just kind of pay attention what's happening with your core, your 
sacrum area is still snug on the mat as you take the open and close. We'll do one more. Fingertips go to the ceiling. Hips come up. Add your twist to the side with the upper body. There comes our twist off the one side. Bring it to center. Twist to the other side. Bring it to center. There's your twist. Center. Twist. Center. Let's do one more each side. Finish this one. Bring yourself back to center. Push your palms in towards the ceiling. Stretch out your wrist. Now flip your fingertips away from you. Stretch out your wrist in the other direction. Also a nice stretch for your forearms. Wrist circles, take it around in one direction. Take it around in the other direction. And we are going right into some leg circles. Bring your arms by your side. Take one leg up towards the ceiling. Remember your knee can be bent and add your leg circles in one direction. Now we're going into that core stability here. So that same idea with the hip bones stay steady. Keep that in this movement. Change directions. Take it around, take it around. Now right here, keep the toes towards the ceiling and add some ankle circles while you're here. Move through the ankle around in one direction. Take it around in the other direction. Let's add a little hamstring warm up, bend the knee a little bit and then push the foot up. Add a knee bend, push the leg up. Just a couple more to get that stretch down the back side. Once you finish this, bring the leg down. We have the other side. Zip, toes go up, get that outward rotation. Here's the circle. So again, double check that you're keeping your pelvis Stable and still as you circle around. And then we would change directions. You would take it in the opposite direction. Keep the toes towards the center, up towards the ceiling. Add your ego circles. Take it around, get some movement. You can wiggle your toes while you circle. Change directions, move your toes, move your ankle. Pull behind your thigh, bend your knee, push it towards the ceiling. Bend and push. There's your bend and push. One more time. And then your foot can come down to the floor. Take a classic crunch. Hands behind your head. Take a big exhale. And then lift the shoulders. Release it down. Exhale, lift. And release. Exhale, lift. And release. Take it up. And bring it down. Up and down. Exhale, lift, release down. Three more. Here's three, two, obliques. Now you're gonna take your shoulder across each time. You're gonna keep your crutch, but take the shoulder blade off the mat one side, center, now to the other side. Shoulder blade comes up. Here's a lift of the shoulder blade, and then you switch. Now exhale, exhale, lift, center, exhale, lift, center. 
four, three, two, finish this one, release your head down, take your knees right over your hips. Now, shins are parallel, open your arms, squeeze the thighs, knees go off to one side. Pause when you get them there, check to see you're using your core, bring it back to center. Here's the other side. Roll, pause, bring it to center. Hip roll, so feel the work in your core right here. Bring it up to center. Roll to the side, pause when you get there. Bring it to center. One more time on each side. Bring it to center. Here comes the other side. Finish this. It's a single leg stretch. You're going to extend one leg out and then you're going to switch. Now I'm going to keep the shoulders down. Feel free to take the version that works for you as a heads up. We are going into bicycle neck. So if you want to rest your neck, do it now. There's your reach and reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here comes the bicycle, hands behind your head. Take your shoulder blade up, center. Now I want you to take your time though. Each part of the move is intentional. You lift up, center, you lift, center. It's a lift, center, lift, center. Let's check. Now your pelvis is stable, your hip bones are towards the ceiling. It's the shoulder blade that lifts up. We have four, three, two. Here comes both your legs in, both your legs out. You bring them in, you extend them out. Now again, I'm keeping my head down. Feel free to lift your head, your shoulders if you want it. Just make sure you're in your core. It makes a big difference. Four more here. There's your four. Here's your three. It's your two. The hundred is next. You're going to choose where you want your legs, up or down, wherever it works for you. Here it comes. Exhale, get into your good hundred form. Here's your count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it down. Give yourself a hug, a stretch, whatever you need. Here's the long stretch, reach from your fingers to your toes. We are going to roll up and stretch it in a seated position. However you get up, keep it safe. If you can do the roll up, maybe you use your thighs, bring yourself up, drop your chin to your chest, bend your knees if you need to, round through your back. This is a stretch. Relax, release, let it go. Bring yourself up. Take your feet about the width of your mat. We're going right into a twist. A nice release for our back. We twist to one side. Bring it to center. Twist to the other side. 
Return this up. There's your twist and your twist. Here's your twist and twist. We'll do four, three, two, one more time. So open your legs up a little wider, add your rotate, you reach towards your foot, you look towards your thumb, bring it up, change sides. There's the reach and the look, bring it up, rotate, reach and look. Here's the reach and look. We'll do four more. Make it feel good. Challenge yourself. There's three, two, one more time. Return to your spine stretch here. You can bring your legs in, drop the chin to the chest, round to the back. When you're ready, we're going to bring ourselves up. We're going to come to the side. We're going to start with our clamshell. If you want to use your weight, have a weight ready to go for the clamshell. I'll use mine today. Um, and then we'll move on. So the first exercise is going to be your clamshell. Get yourself set up where it works. If you choose to use the weight, it is towards your knee, and then you open the top leg, you bring it down. Now, I often do this without the weight. Today I'm using the weight. You're going to pick what works for you as you lift and lower. You have five more to go here. There's your five. Four, three, two, one more time. And now you can set the weight down and we're gonna do our kicks forward and back. So I'm just setting up my bottom leg where it works for me. Waistline away, we're gonna kick to the front and then sweep to the back. So I want you to use your core to keep yourself balanced. Not really worried how big the kick forward and back is, but I do want you to feel really stable through the center. That means you're gonna pull the waistline up and away, right? Minimal wobbling. We're gonna be really engaged, keep ourselves centered. Four more, here's four. Three, two, and then we're going to take it and lift the leg up for our quadricep. So here is point the toes, big range of motion. The leg comes all the way up, and then you squeeze on the way down. So this one is for your quadricep. We have that little rotation that happens right there. So usually I keep it to the outer thigh. Today I want you to use the quadricep, get that big lift and bring it down. Now I still want you to think, is your core pulling up and away from the mat? We don't wanna just let everything collapse because it affects your low back. We wanna keep ourselves stable through our low back as you lift and lower. There's your up. You have one more to go. Little circles right here. So center yourself on your side. Make sure you're there. Squeeze the glutes and little circles around. Stability, core strength, change directions. And of course, we're using our hip. There is the circle, circle, circle. And then go ahead. Release it right there. Reach both your toes out. We are going to end with our double leg lift. Lift your legs. Release them down. Lift and lower. It's your up and down, up and down. Five, 
four, three, two, one more time, and then go ahead. Release it right there. We have the other side to go. We're starting with the clamshell. If you use the weight on one side, I recommend you use it on the other side. We do want to always work on keeping both sides equally strong. So if, again, if you're choosing to use a weight, it's closer to your knee. Get your knee set, and then when you're ready, you open, you close. You open, you close. Lift and lower, lift, lower. Five, four, three, two, now here comes the kick forward and back. You can set your weight out of the way. Leg is out, you kick to the front, you sweep to the back. It's a kick, it's a sweep. So waistline away from the mat, that's a way of saying zip up, um, avoid collapsing. This is really about protecting your back. You kick to the front, you sweep to the back. Kick, sweep. Two more times. The next move, we take our quadricep, you're gonna lift all the way up. There's that big lift and squeeze down. Lift, squeeze down. Now I want you to think about Using the quadricep, I want you to feel the work in the front of the thigh, and then just squeeze on the way down. Let's even make sure we're pressing the bottom leg into the floor, so we're activating all parts of our body as we move. Four, three, Two, little leg circles are next. Here comes that point. Make sure you're centered on your hips or you're sideways. Little circles around. So if you're starting to fall back or fall forward, make sure you're centered, you're right on the side. Take this circle in the other direction. Double leg lift and next, reach your toes out. There's your side and then you lift and you lower. There's your up and you're down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Five more. Here's five, four, Three, two, finish this, bring yourself into space. We're gonna meet right on our front side. You're going to have your elbows someplace under your shoulders, wherever it feels good. Now reach the top of your head as far away from your low back as you can, reach your toes away. Feel a stretch through the front. So we did crunching and bicycles, all kinds of core work. Get your core to stretch. Release down, go right into your cobra, wherever it's comfortable for you. You might keep it small, you might take it bigger. Turn your head, add a little movement for your neck. Bring yourself down, and we're gonna go right into swimming here. Reach your fingertips out in front. Look at your mat. Little hover of your arms and legs, and then you lift opposite arm, opposite leg. Gaze stays towards the mat. Think exhale, strong center here. 
Go at a pace that works for you. Four more. Four, three, two. Forehead cheek comes down to the mat. Relax the legs. Shake your hips out. Give yourself a little shake through the hips. Just a break right here. Think of it as a reset. Keep your forehead on the mat. We're going to alternate bending our legs. So we've done this a couple times this week. It's just a chance. Move through your knee so if it hurts your knee, keep it smaller. Do a couple more. And then once you finish this, press back into child's pose. Finish your last one. Carefully bring yourself up. Child's pose or whatever you need after feel being on the front side. Sometimes it feels good to stay a little higher. Sometimes it feels good to go a little lower. You might take your time as you reach a lengthen. Bring yourself to your hands and knees. Here comes cow cat. Drop the belly, look up. Drop the tailbone, the top of the head. Move smoothly going through each section of your back. Finish this one. And we come into our Beyonce. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So core is engaged. Take your leg out behind. When you're ready, lift the leg, arm goes out, hold it here. We stay for a few breaths and focus on keeping the core engaged. Relax this side. Here's the other side. Leg goes out. Once you have the leg, arm can go out. Focus, exhale, strong center. Arm and leg comes down. We're going in down to our forearms and taking a low plank. Set your arms up where you like them. Walk your feet away. Maybe you stay on your knees. Maybe you lift your knees. And we're going to hold a low plank. I just want you to get really into the core here. Remember, you're pressing into your elbows. You're saying lift it through your shoulder blades. We're going to hold it 15 more seconds. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, knees down, child's pose. Give yourself a break through your shoulders, wherever you need to take it. Give yourself the break. Finish it right there, and we're going to start grabbing our weights. We're going to do some rows, and then we'll flip over and do our chest. Heavier weight for your rows. I'm doing it from a lunge position. That's my preference. You might want to take it from all fours. Go for it. It is harder. And then when you're ready, we're going to pull up. Take your row. Really sit down. There's your up, and you're down. Up. And down.
We'll do a total of 15 here. So keep going. Lift, bring it down. Lift, bring it down. Five to go. Five, four, three, two. Finish this one, set the weight down. Take it to the other side. Set yourself up. Bring yourself forward. And then when you're ready, there's your pull and your release. Pull, release. Pull, release. Up and down. Up and down. Pull, control it down. Keep going, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. You can set the weight down. Now set the weights up. We're going onto our backside so we can do our chest press. We'll do some chest flies, some pullovers. I have my weights ready to go. Bring yourself onto the floor safely on the back side. One weight in each hand, how you choose to hold them and get there. Just make sure you keep it safe. So you want to use control. Once you're set up, here comes your chest press. You're going to push up and bring it down. Press up and bring it down. Push, release, push, release, up and up. Push, bring it down. Five more here. Here's five. Four, three, two. Now we set one way down. We're going to go into pullovers, but I am going to do one more set of chest press. Set the weight down. Take the arms up. Here's your pullover. We'll do a total of 20. I'll tell you when we get to the 10. So that we can switch the position of our hands. You're taking it over. And there's that pull. Now we want to focus on really staying engaged everywhere from your pelvis, the hip bones. Sacrum stays secure to the mat. Zip the core as you reach over. Three. Two, one more time. We're going to switch the hand in front. Do that carefully. And we'll do 10 more over and pull. Having a different hand in front does make some changes. That means rescan is your pelvis level. Are you keeping your sacrum secure to the mat? Are you zipping the core? Keeping the rib cage in. Four. Three. Two. One more time. And we are coming back to the chest press. We're going to do one more set. Carefully grab your additional weight. Have your weights go up. Legs come up if you choose. That's going to make it a little more challenging. Elbows slide down. Elbows go up. Slide down. Press up. There's your down. 
and you're up, down, and up. Remember to exhale. So when you're doing the most effort, that's when you exhale. Keep going. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Finish this one. Bring your feet down. Bring your weights down carefully. I'm switching to my lighter set. We'll do some chest flies. We're going to tuck in some biceps and triceps while we're here. Grabbing your other set if you like to change them up. If not, no worries. Palms face in. Here comes your flies. You open. You squeeze. There it comes. Back to what is your core doing? That is a stabilizer. Use it to control the movement. We slow down. We squeeze up. Control it down and squeeze up. Open, squeeze. Exhale. Now option for the next 10, legs can go up if you want. That just changes the dynamics. Little bit harder because with your legs up, you have to use more core to stay centered and balanced. Count down, there's six, five, four, three. Two, bring your feet down, set your arms up for bicep curls on the floor. Feet are down, arms are by your side. Add your curl, really sit down. Add the curl, really sit down. Curl, release, curl. Release. There's your up and down. Five more. Five, four, three, two. Now your next move is your triceps. You're bringing your arms up. Set them up in a place that feels good for your shoulders. I do like mine a little diagonal. Add a bend at the elbows. Bend, bring it up. Bend, bring it up. Down and up. Down and up. Five more here. Here's five, four, three, two. Finish with tricep press. Arms up and then elbows slide by your waistline. You push straight up. This is a little extra burn right here for the triceps. It uses your chest. It's a little slide down. Think of it as a reverse push-up when we do it for our triceps. Elbows slide next to your rib cage and you press up. Four, three, two. One more time. And then you can bring your weights down. Now keep one weight. We're going to use, well, it's optional. I'm gonna set a weight on my hips today when we do bridges. You may or may not want to do that. It's up to you. And you may wanna use your heavier weight. You may wanna use both your weights. 
I'm going with one weight today. When you're ready, you're gonna lift your hips and bring it down. Remember the weight is optional. We still never pain in your low back. That's a no. This is for your hamstrings, your glutes. We do move through the spine. We don't wanna feel pain in the back. A little burn because we're strengthening is good, but pain is bad. Five, four, I am going to add on. There's three, two, keep the hips up, pull the hips up. And once you're there, add a little pulse. You're gonna lift your hips just a little bit. This is for your glutes, your hamstrings. There's that little lift and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring the hips down, set your weight to the side, take a figure four, obliques. You're gonna take your shoulder across, lift up and bring it down. Lift up, release it down. Lift and lower, lift, lower. Exhale, lift. We have five more. Five, four, three, two, Single leg bridge is next. Relax your arms down. Set yourself up. Lift up for your bridge. Little tap down. Maybe you keep it more as a hover. There is your lift and your lower. Lift, lower. Up, down, five, four, three, two, keep this one up, keep it up. We're gonna add those little pulses today. It's a little lift and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, here comes the other side. Figure four, hand behind, Take your armpit across and bring it down. It's a lift and a lower. It's a lift and lower. Up and down, up and down. Now this is obliques, so think about lifting the shoulder blade. Exhale, use the little side core. Three, Two, single leg bridge is next. Set yourself up, full range here. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And maybe, like I said, you don't actually touch all the way down. You might keep a little hover. That's going to keep the muscles contracted. Five more, five, four, three, two. You are keeping this one up, there is the up. Little pulse and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, bring it down. Let your feet come down. Take your windshield wipers. Really release low back. Uh, make it feel good right here. Feet can be wide. They can be close. Kind of play around. Move your feet. Find that place that really lets you relax your low back as you take it side to side. The next move, you're going to take 
the bottoms of their feet together in your butterfly. Again, little release for your back. Hands behind your head, add your crunch. Crunch, release down. Now we still keep hip bones towards the ceiling. Exhale, lift up, release down. Lift up, release down. Four, three, two. Now rest the upper body, just the lower body. We're gonna lift our legs from our butterfly position. Bring it up and tap it down. Bring it up, tap it down. There's your up and your down. Are you pulling your belly button in? Are you stable through the core? Big exhale, keep your rib cage in. We're going to do two more here. There's one. When you finish this one, long stretch. Reach from your fingers to your toes. Lengthen everything out. Get really long. Banana stretch. Walk everything off to one side. Really lengthen. We did more core work today, so really stretch your abs out. Feel that strength lengthening down the obliques. Bring it to the other side. Banana stretch in the other direction. There's that stretch lengthening. Bring it to center. Flex your feet so your heels push into the floor as you stretch out. Think of pushing your feet into the wall that's away from you. And now bring one knee into your chest. Keep the other leg flexed and reaching away as you take the stretch. Knee is going across your midline. It's your final twist. It could be big. It could be small. Exhale, relax into the twist wherever it takes you. Bring the leg back to center. Hold behind the thigh. Push the foot into the ceiling. Hamstring stretch here. Soften the ankle, add some ankle circles. Change directions. Reach the foot away. Now both your feet reach away. Remember that. Push your feet into the wall behind you so you can get a really long stretch. Arms are going to reach overhead. Lengthen. Get really long. And now you're going to take the opposite knee into your chest, but the other leg stays long, reaching away, pushing into the wall away from you. Open up through the hips. That's the front and the back side. Now you open the leg to the side. You can take an arm. Here's your twist. Take it across and relax in this one. This is more passive. Exhale. Soften and allow the body to relax into the stretch. So think with the exhale, feel a softness. Bring the knee back to center, hold on behind the thigh. Push the foot into the ceiling, hamstring stretch. You might change where your foot is. You might have to move it around a little. Soften the ankle, add your ankle circles in one direction. Circle in the other direction. Both your knees come into your chest here. Bring your knees in. Take a circle on your low back. Other direction. We're bringing ourselves up into a seated position. Roll up whatever method works for you. Once you get there, you're going to take 
your legs out in front so you can add a little forward fold. As you exhale, grab your mat and pull your chest forward. Bring yourself up, slide your right leg in, give your leg a hug. Take the leg across. Now, first I want you to stretch down the outside of the hip. And then hand is behind you so you can ground your hand and add a twist as you turn your head. Bring yourself to the front, figure four. You're gonna bend the bottom leg and make any adjustments so you can get the best stretch for your hips right here. You might keep the light out further. You might bring it in wherever you go. Lift your chest to the ceiling. That's going to increase the stretch through the hip. Relax it down here. And we'll take it to the other side. Slide the left leg in. You can take the leg up and over. First hug, I want you to get stretch for the outside. Sit up tall, add your twist. Turn your head. Bring yourself to the front. Here is your figure four. Maybe you slide in a little, maybe it's a lot. Once you're there, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Just really get a good stretch through the glutes and the hips. Release it here, slide your leg out, take the bottoms of your feet together. It's your butterfly bound angle. And play around with it. You might like your feet a little further up today. You might like them closer in. Carefully bring yourself up. Take your feet out wide. It's going to be your seated wide angle. Lean forward just enough to get a good stretch. And then just kind of see, are you centered? Bring yourself up. Take one hand outside, right hand outside your right leg. Reach the left arm up. Lengthen the left side. Switching sides, left hand by left leg. And then you reach up. Bring yourself up. We're going to get ourselves into a comfortable seated position. For me, that means I'm grabbing my block. Once you're comfortable, we're going to take the right hand behind our back. That is just your chance. Sit up tall. And think about this, engage the core. So if you end up kind of getting sloppy in the center, zip up, hold it there, and then drop the ear. You're gonna keep that zip of the core to keep yourself centered. Lift the head, relax the right arm. Take the left arm behind. And again, double check that you're engaged through your center. And then you drop the ear. Lift the head, relax the arm down, take a big shoulder roll. Reach your arms up. We're stretching out our triceps, fingertips up, drop the right hand, lengthen right here. Did you zip the core? Fingertips go up. Here comes the other side, left hand drops. Fingertips go up. You're going to bring your hands by the side. Take your thumbs down. Shoulders back and down. Press back. 
And now clasp the hands behind your back. Reach your hands away, lift your chest. Maybe you lift your chin, you get a big stretch. Shoulders, chest. Relax it here, a little shoulder roll. Look over your right shoulder, stretch out your neck. Look over your left shoulder. Look to the front, lift your chin up to the ceiling. Chin touches the ceiling. Chin is going to come towards your chest. Slide your chin to your right shoulder. Slide your chin to the left shoulder. Chin to chest. Look straight ahead. Take a big shoulder roll. Roll your shoulders. Take a big inhale here. Reach up. Take your inhale. Blow it out. Exhale. Two more times. Reach up. Inhale. Blow it out. Exhale. One more time. Big reach up. Blow it out. And thank you, everybody. Yoga tomorrow if you're around. Otherwise, I will see you next week.